The brand new Mortar Evolution is out and it has 20% more health than the regular Mortar, shoots 25% faster, and fires a goblin, so you guys already know this thing is busted. We're at 8400 on Trophy Road. Let's play some games with this thing and see how broken it is. All right, so we're gonna be trying it out in three different decks this video, and you guys can, I guess, decide or get a feel of like what it pairs well in, but obviously it's gonna go very well inside of minor decks and inside of hog decks. My initial reaction from playing the card for a couple games and just from what I've seen is to me, it looks like the Evolved Mortar is probably going to be the third best evolution. I think the Royal Giant and the Firecracker might be slightly better than it, but I think the Evolved Mortar is 100% better than the Barbarians and for sure better than the Evolved Skeletons. But that's just my first reaction. We might later find out that it's actually the most broken evolution out of all of them, depending on what decks it pairs well in and all that stuff. So this first mortar is just regular. You need to cycle the regular mortar two times before you have your evolved one. So it's the same as the firecracker, but that's why I think it's slightly worse than the firecracker. The fact that it's one more elixir and yet you still have to cycle it two times just like the firecracker. But with that being said, mortar is still one of the strongest win conditions in the game. And before it even got that evolution, it was already super solid. So we're going to poison his collector. I kind of wish I didn't go for a miner there, but to be fair, I didn't know he was going to go for a collector. So it's not really entirely my fault. I guess if you don't have the Mighty Miner, that's completely fine. You could still play this Mortar deck with the Knight or the Valkyrie would be quite solid as well. And Defensive Mortar here. And then our next one, we will have... Okay, so this guy's just using some just whack Elixir Golem deck. I have no clue what this is. The only thing is, though, is these Evolve Barbs are going to low-key be pretty scary. I'm pretty worried about them. Um, I don't know here if we're fine. I might actually have to poison this. That was a bit of a sketchy poison. We took quite a lot of damage there. I mean, could have been worse. That looked very scary. I thought I was going to lose my whole tower, but anyway, we have our Evolved Mortar ready. Here we go. Moment of truth. Let's see what we can do with this thing. Let's go for it. He's going to go for his pump. Let's go for a miner right on top, and he lets that Mortar lock on the tower. That is a big, big mistake. Let me tell you guys, that is a massive mistake to let that thing lock on. That's going to pretty much be tower down. I mean, I don't really see him being able to save his tower unless that retargets, but the fact that it shoots 25% faster is what makes it so, so broken. We took the tower. We just got to try to defend here. Oh, the musk got reset by the E-Drag, so now it locks on the E-Drag, which is solid. We can go for a poison here on top of the barbs and log back. Hopefully, they are able to die before they get raged up. I don't know. Nope. Nope. We are going to lose our tower, I think. I don't, I don't think I could have stopped that. That was, um, I don't know, that was a tough defense over there, but he's definitely not going to get three crowns, so I don't know how I feel about that E-Drag, I feel like that was very aggressive by him. Um, we're going to try to get a Musk over here, and then our next Mortar is, of course, going to be Evolved again, which is great, so if we just get another Evolved Mortar on the tower, I feel like that might be all we need to maybe get the win here, especially if it locks on the tower like he allowed it to happen before. This time around, he's smart. He's going to go for the healer. He knows. I just called an Elixir Golem player smart. I don't know what this game has gotten to at this point. The fact that I'm calling an Elixir Golem player smart. All right, so Mortar's going to lock on the tower. There we go. And is that all we need? I mean, it's going to get so much damage. Look at that. It gets another shot over there. It's not going to be quite enough to get us the win, but you guys can tell just the difference between the regular Mortar and the Evolved is massive. Like, I feel like we would have actually lost this game already if the Mortar was regular because our Evolved Mortar kind of carried. It's what allowed us to take his tower on the left. I mean, I don't even think we would have taken it if it weren't for that. And then... We would just be in a horrible spot right now. Miner on top of the tower. He did get the barbs going, though, which is unfortunate. The uh, level 15 musk is kind of carrying us. By the way, I didn't even upgrade the musk to level 15. It's just, um, it's because of the, um, it's boosted this season. So definitely run musk this season um, because it's going to be boosted. And I think musk is going to be very good inside these types of mortar decks. Okay, here we go. Vol mortar. Can we get the dub? Oh, oh, it's going to pull the electrical. He needs something to block. Oh, he gets the barbs down in time. Can we get enough damage? Uh, oh, oh, it, it, it didn't splash, though. Uh, mm, mm. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't even know what just happened, but we won. We won. Let's go. GG. We're against Zeke here. For our next game, we're running it in a Hog deck because I feel like Hog is going to go very well with the Evolved Mortar because Hog Mortar was a thing before the Evolved Mortar even came out. So I have a feeling it's going to be even stronger now. I think Minor Mortar, Hog Mortar going to be the best, too. He's running E-Giant. He's in a clan called Like a Boss. Let's go like a boss. We're going to pop the queen ability here. 
we're going to go for a log. And then what we're going to do is go mortar over here. That's spaced out. There's no way he'd be able to lighten. Okay, this guy's running Firecracker and Musk in the same deck. In an E-Giant deck, by the way. I do not know how I feel about that. That is very interesting. Easily defended over there. The question is, does this guy have a NATO? I would assume he does. But at this point, I got no clue because he's got Musk and Firecracker in this deck. This is kind of crazy. We're at like almost 8,500 on Trophy Road and we're matching decks like this. I guess that means I'll probably be able to get to 9,000 pretty soon without too much of an issue if this, these are the decks we're matching. Okay, so Mini Pekka coming in. We'll just go Ice Spirit and um, what the heck? He's got a Prince. Okay, let's just go Queen. We might need a Defensive Mortar if he decides to go E-Giant in front of that. He's not going to though. Let's just get a Log going and then go Skeletons like this. And then uh, I kind of want to go for my Mortar, but I want to say... What? I'm sorry, what? This guy's got Mega Knight, E-Giant in the same deck? What is going on right now? Bats should be solid. The only thing is we don't have a ton of... I realize we don't have a ton of DPS in this deck. I guess the idea behind this deck is just the fast cycle. Um, yeah, and I guess maybe I should have kept Musk in this deck, because I realize the Musk is boosted. Might have been better than having the Queen, which is only level 14. Um, anyhow, let's just go for a Hog here. And we'll go for one more defensive mortar, and then our next mortar will be evolved, and we'll be good to go there. Okay, so yeah, he does have the tornado. Let's go for our defensive mortar here. We could maybe go for an evolved defensive mortar, too, to see how that does, because the goblins might be nice to have on defense. So we're going to go queen like this, high up, spaced out, so he can't lightning the queen or the, um, or the mortar, at least not at the same time, which is what we are trying to do. Okay, so now we're going to go for our mortar, evolved, boom. Can we make something happen with it? Uh, that firecracker is annoying. Oh, the log just took it out. Oh my goodness. Rebu we're kind of... Oh my goodness. All right. So, okay. That's going to lock on the tower. Is that all we need? I mean, this is the thing. I feel like it's going to be really broken when you have something tanking for the goblin. Like, see the hog, how it just tanks for the goblin and the fact that it shoots 25% faster? I mean... I don't know, guys. This thing is pretty dang broken. I mean, the Evolved Firecracker coming in. So, I mean, I don't know how broken it is compared to the Firecracker, but it's it's pretty good. It's, it's pretty good, guys. I mean, we've hardly taken any damage. We haven't tested out the thing on defense yet, but I imagine it would be quite good as well. I'm going to go Ice Spirit over here. Hopefully, we are able to... We were not, unfortunately, able to hit... The Prince and the Mega Knight with that didn't hit at all, but doesn't even matter. I mean, the Ice Spirit didn't um, freeze both of them at the same time. It's all good, though. I think we're okay here. We'll just get a log going and be able to rip through that Musk. Okay, the Mortar locked on the tower. Buddy, you cannot let that lock on the tower. What are you doing, my man? That's game. We don't even do, do, need to do anything else. That's it. That, it's just over. When that thing locks on your tower, you're kind of screwed. All right, guys, and in our last game here against Mimo, I decided to use it in some Skeleton King Mortar deck. I want to see how it works with all the bait cards with the Skelly King, like the Skarmy, the Minion Horde, and all that. Should be interesting. So this guy's got a Hog deck. Maybe he's got Hog EQ. I'm curious how the Evolved Mortar does against the Earthquake. I feel like it's going to be a lot easier to beat it now because of the additional health that the Mortar has. The Earthquake isn't even going to be that amazing against it anymore. So you just went for his Fireball. Oh boy, I don't think he's going to expect this minion horde. I'm going to go minion horde, and then I'm going to get a miner down to maybe hopefully predict, like, if he decides to drop, like, a firecrack or something. Oh, he's only got musk. Oh my gosh, he had, like, nothing for that. <laughs> oh, that is brutal. That is brutal. Oh my goodness, I can give him a wow. Dude, that is crazy. Let's get a scar me down here, and then go for skeleton king. <laughs> We got the Skeleton Barrel as well. We could go ahead and send that in the other lane because he's got the Skelly King ability that he has to deal with and now the Skeleton Barrel coming in the other lane as well. Let's go ahead and pop the ability. Even though he went for that Valkyrie, he played it off to the side instead of in front. So that was not a good placement at all on his end. And as a result, he's going to pay the price for that. We didn't even have to use our Evolved Mortar and he still just kind of got destroyed there. I think if we win this game, we get to the next arena as well, which is really solid. Um... So that's pretty dope. I decided to not do anything there. I didn't want to go for my defensive mortar because I know he's got a hog. Um, I decided to instead just go firecracker like that because we're getting splash on top of the tower. So that's pretty good for us. Can't really complain there. And uh, is he just going to give us the tower? No, he does get the king activated. So that was pretty good on his end. Um, I guess we'll just minor. Don't want to play in the safe spot because I feel like that's too predictable since you just activated the king. But 
caught it anyway. Let's just go for defensive mortar just to get the mortar cycled just so we get our next one, the evolution. It seems to me like this type of mortar deck may not be the most amazing with the evolved mortar because the cycle's a bit slower, so you're not able to get back as quick as you would want maybe to your evolved mortar. So I'm thinking this evolved mortar is going to be really good inside of decks that are like 3.0 or cheaper but let's actually just set up our defensive evolved mortar here and see how it does against all this i feel like it should do solid i mean just with the distracting the more health i mean look at that like when he goes for the firewall on it it survives an additional hog shot that it normally wouldn't before so the thing just has an insane amount of health like lightning and earthquake are just not going to take it out nearly as quick anymore um so i just went for a minor there we just arrow that. We don't even kill the musk, actually, so we got to be a little careful. Let's actually just go minion horde here instead of going mortar. Switch up our defense a little bit. That musk actually one-shots the minion horde. My gosh, i got to get used to the interaction changes. Um, so, yeah, guys, I guess if you take away anything from this video, I think the evolved mortar is going to be pretty good. I think it's going to be the third best evolution in the game. I don't know if it's going to be nearly as broken or as broken as the firecracker or the RG. But anyway, that win is going to put us into the next arena as well. And yeah, let me know what you guys think of the Evolved Mortar.